and it looks like uh, you guys are doing a lot of work between the crypto parties and yeah this. it's um, it's involving yes all the, all the time um, because uh, you asked uh, some time ago um, if we are uh, how our work is going on and uh, I think we are more known in Leipzig now than we were three years ago um, so we were asked if uh, if there are people uh, needed for a podium, for example, uh, for a discussion. Um, we are asked uh, to uh, to to lecture under under um, Volkshochschule in Leipzig. Uh, public school. Public. Uh, it's a public school, uh, especially for. Um, Adult. Adult education. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, such things uh, involve. Yeah. That's, that's, that's really good and, and, and uh, therefore we, we get the, the sense that it is not useless what, what we do. And uh, um, I uh, get some, uh, some motivation for this. Yes, of course. So. Um, we uh, learned, uh, I can only speak for myself, in the last um, three years that um, you have to um, do uh, small steps to get, uh, um, get further and, and to do a lot of things. But um, uh, it's uh, really important that you can do the step, um, steps, step by step and in a continuous way so if you stop or um, think that you can um, invest not so much time into it in it you really um, start to fall back so yeah. we we, um, we could i guess we could say that because we are um, observing the other groups in other uh, cities mm -hmm. and I guess they fall back because they um, didn't uh, um, uh, had the chance to develop their um, the institutional structures, for example, or um, to um, to get it on a very regular basis. So at least uh, our small uh, groups of active people is um, is um, really into it and. Uh, this is um, where, where I get my motivation for now is that there are people and I can come here and we are doing stuff <laughs> and did not fall back or say oh uh, uh, privacy is lost game is over and we're done so that's also uh, <laughs> kind of you uh, yeah. to say it's a lost battle mm -hmm. and uh, some people um, Say so. We didn't. Uh, think we uh, we don't think so. Uh, or at least we want uh, to give up. Yeah. <laughs> For us, it's too much at not stake. No, not now. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, to give up right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm curious about a couple of things. You you presented in uh, high schools, uh, mm -hmm. teenagers, yeah. and you. Uh, also, like giving lectures with uh, adult colleges. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. What what is the response of uh, the students in these two categories to uh, surveillance, privacy, and the things that you work with? It's it's problematic to to generalize. I think because yes. the people who came to this lab, uh, especially in the in the adult. Um, um, Colleague. The adult colleague uh, were, uh, were interested in this topic. They came on their own um, on their own motivation, mm -hmm. um, and certainly they were they were interested, especially in uh, what can we do on the technical uh, on the technical side uh, on that issue. How can we um, 
get down the, um, the traces uh, we left in, 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 in web, for example. Uh, how can we uh, it more harder for, for business and for industry to, to get profiles? Such things uh, that they asked, mm -hmm. especially. And yeah, at, at, we, we showed them how to use, for example, the tour, if, if I don't remember rightly, and mm -hmm. um, how, to, um, how to configure uh, Firefox so that it will help to protect your privacy more than, than the normal uh, configuration. Um, we showed how to encrypt emails and, and such, uh, such things. And um, for the, the younger uh, people on the yeah. high schools, um, it was very interesting to see that they are um, interested in this stuff um, because they are some of them are using Snapchat and um, they think that the, the data has been deleted if they're using Snapchat. But we are <laughs> concerned about this and um, skeptic, very skeptic, if that's really the case, because um, over the time it came up that the Snapchat app isn't very se much secure. You can uh, collect the images with another app on the, on the same phone. And uh, so this um, raises some doubts, at least from our side, so we discussed it, but um, our main goal or is to, to show at least some alternatives to common practices and apps and, 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 and programs or applications on computers and smartphones and tablets. But um, the problem is that um, the young people are using some, some tools, we uh, can't easily show them um, alternatives, so we focused on, um, on showing them uh, Signal and, um, and CryptoCat because it's very easy um, um, chat application and you can or could um, uh, cipher the uh, um, Facebook chat communication with it. But we learned from them that they are already a step further and using um, Snapchat and all these new communication applications and there's not really uh, uh, an alternative so our group isn't um, or have um, much um, resources left to to get into hacktivism to write these tools uh, <laughs> we miss uh, we, we learn from the crypto parties are missing but um, I guess um, we uh, and we are really eager to, to develop that further to get um, to these younger people and to learn from them what they are doing, what is needed from for their perspective. And well, we try to to figure it out how to, uh, to show them that um, using some apps, they uh, pretend to have data protection or to delete something doesn't uh, automatically need that uh, mean that they are really doing so and um, so our intention is to bring some critic thoughts or critic minds to them to as some uh, kind of mind tool set if you will to um, to focus on that but um, I'm not sure because if you go on a high school and have been invited by some uh, teachers of a class, it's also some sort of a duty for the students. So I'm not very sure if they um, um, or the majority of the, the students is really interested or if it's just another duty. But uh, some of them uh, at least we have interesting discussions and yeah. so we are uh, try to to figure that out in the future to get more of this uh, events uh, and, 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 and appointments with schools done the main goal is that they can uh, do their own decisions yes on, uh, on what we uh, show them so 
if they are decide to use Facebook, if they are decide to use Snapchat, it's to them. Yes, of course. No point at all. Um, but uh, they should at least know what's happened behind the scene. And that's, uh, that's what we try to, to tell them, to mm -hmm. show them, and uh, where, where the, the gathering of data can lead to. Yes, that's, that's, that's uh, yeah. mainly how we uh, understand uh, the work we do to, uh, to give people an impression from what's at stake. Mm -hmm. And if they decide uh, to ignore yeah. this, uh, it's up to them, uh, no, no point. Yes. But uh, but at least they should know. Yes. That's uh, I think that's the main goal. Yes. So in, from that um, from that point of view, we are into the we are main, um, very deeply into the, the our understanding of enlightenment to empower the, the individual yeah. to make its own decision to decide whether I or he or she should take a risk or not and to go uh, or, or to, to decide to use a tool or not or to, to decide to use an alternative and, and to or to, to decide to use it when and when not and, and so on and so on. so we all at every party we um, show um, um, some kind of um, threat model so we, we try to break a threat model concept the concept of threat models down to uh, simple um, simple strategies and samples from real life usage mm. in our daily life and try to um, s uh, in a kind of sense it to, to make them to, to make them more sensitive in, in the daily usage of tools and, and so on Okay, and um, so I've, I've attended one crypto party mm -hmm. organized by mm -hmm. uh, you guys, and it was for me it was about three to four hours long. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was wondering whether uh, this is the the model they are going with, having like a four hour long session, or will this change in future? It's quite difficult. Yeah. We. Uh, um, we discuss it all the time, how we can shorten it, how we can it, uh, become more compact uh, to, uh, to make it uh, more easier for people to follow maybe. But we came always uh, to the point, it is not easy stuff. Uh, one, one thing um, we, uh, we would really be happy if people came uh, to all the five parties we, uh, we provide in one cycle, but they don't. So uh, we have uh, a lot of things, I think it's about one hour or, or something like this, uh, that we repeat on every crypto party because we don't want people to go home uh, and say, yeah, I've heard something about cryptography and now I'm safe. And now I can go and do all the things on the web and nobody can uh, can come up to me. And that's not what we want. We want uh, to know them. Also, if you use uh, encryption, for example, there is a risk. You can use it false. You can, uh, you, can make, uh, you can make mistakes by using it and so on. And that's... that's uh, a huge part of the crypto parties we have always uh, to repeat. The threat mm -hmm. model to be mentioned is also a part we uh, we have in every every crypto party. And on the other hand, um, if you want to go in some detail, for example, uh, the configuration, or also by by, by different programs, um, you need to have some time. And mm -hmm. on the other hand, uh, people to stay. So I think uh, they are so interested uh, to have a look, uh, to have a look. Also, if it is uh, sometimes nice. detailed and if it sometimes uh, takes a time. So um, we had a chance to um, do a crypto party on university and uh, uh, some some. Uh, um, uh, at the start of this um, 
semester in, in fall and we are sh try to short the, the party to 90 minutes yeah. I guess but um, I guess we came didn't we, we take two hours so it is um, it is, it is um, possible to, to um, shorten it but then you have to um, uh, to go very quickly over the uh, the topics and, and, and to the intro and sometimes that's uh, also too too fast for some uh, visitors but as, as Reinhard mentioned the best way would be to um, set it up uh, as a kind of workshop with um, five parts or six parts and you have can do the the intro at one time and then the uh, people who attended uh, the first can um, can maybe you could repeat the main topics and then go on and to start directly and dive into email encryption for example and so on but um, um, we're not sure how to um, when to to um, to start that because for us it's important to have um, at least one crypto party in a month and on a regular basis and we already dis uh, or in a open right now open discussion to plan uh, some such thing that a workshop on a weekend mm -hmm. uh, and uh, but maybe so. And on the other hand, we didn't want to. Uh, I visited uh, crypto parties in other cities in, in Germany, and, and there are crypto parties where you can learn ev everything on one evening. So you, they start with Tor, then email encryption, then um, file encryption, then um, um, uh, chats and messengers, and um, and that's too much for an evening. Uh, because then uh, you are they are presenting uh, mainly how to use a program and did not um, say anything about the risks or the for, um, traps Rainer already mentioned so, um, for instance we had um, uh, um, for a couple of weeks um, uh, someone asked us about email inscription via email so um, from the the questions he asked over the time, um, we realized uh, that he didn't understand the concept of email encryption. Okay. So he didn't under uh, understand that key exchange is some kind of problematic if you generate a new key pair and did not um, distribute your public key and then create another pair and forgot it. and. He couldn't make a rhyme of the, the error messages in uh, Thunderbird yeah. is given to him, mm -hmm. and he even could not find it on the internet. Mm -hmm. To and so uh, we realized that it is better to go slowly through the parts. To um, first of all um, uh, explain the concept, and then what uh, Reiner do, uh, does very detail. On uh, detail is um, to show how to configure um, the, uh, the software and how to to find um, the problems and what the icons and, and so some some sort of uh, stuff means because we um, um, some some fields are very complex for beginners yep. to to we also we also mm. do not know uh, what people know. Yeah. To come here, uh, I'll say on an expert level. Uh, sometimes we had people there uh, who were just capable to use their uh, computer. Yes, and and do not really know what uh, how it works sometimes, and uh, that's that's highly problematic uh, mm -hmm. to have sometimes really advanced stuff like email encryption it's it's not really that easy <laughs> um, if you if you tell uh, people about the basics for, from this um, and you you have always to look that you close this gap 
Mm. And that's that's why we don't think it's a good idea to have all possible encryption programs on one evening. Maybe people uh, people uh, learn uh, learn a lot, yeah. But I'm I'm nearly sure that they forget half of it or more. Uh, and if they try to use it, uh, they are not better on them they were before they got to the group the party. <laughs> that may be different if, if they know about uh, all these programs, uh, if they have a, a base knowledge about it, uh, then it may be really good uh, to, to maybe deepen their, their knowledge. That's, uh, that may, that, that, but that's a different approach. Uh, we try uh, to, to show beginners how to use encryption. And, so we start on a, on a really extremely basic level. We try, at least try to, to do that. So I'll try, yeah. yes. <laughs> but um, I guess the problem is really uh, that uh, there's an educational gap into using s computers and software. And we, uh, with our crypto parties, we are right <laughs> directi directly into it, into this field. And um, um, I guess on the other hand, of course, our crypto parties couldn't could be more pra practical. So we try to, mm -hmm. to change it to to have more tell and less uh, to have more show and less tell and to build some uh, or to build some exercises into it. But um, as we are no, um, we are not trained in, in, in any educational profession, so. Uh, we have, we have to figure this out step by step by our own. So we will see, but uh, we are eager to improve the crypto parties with every party to bring them the newest information to um, and update it for every party. And so I guess it's a very um, incremental and revolutionary. Um, approach we're trying to set up but mm. as Rainer already mentioned we try to reach a right in various and heterogeneous um, uh, visitor uh, people here come to, to to our parties and I don't know mm. so on the other hand we try to get more to to, to students on university or on high schools and, and try to Tailor down, but it's, it. but it's it's the same image. Uh, people people have really different knowledge mm. about about computer and how, how they work with it. Mm. So it's, you do not, you do not really have 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 uh, a base uh, from which you can start. That's uh, that's the main the main problem, I think. Mm. And you can't. It's a pity uh, you, you can't involve it uh, through uh, different um, different events. That would be uh, yeah. the best uh, the yeah. best thing uh, if people would say, "Okay, I I will join uh, on on maybe that five uh, crypto parties for a half year and." Uh, I really will be there on time, and we can we can build them on each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, you can't you can't bring people not to do that. No. I think. So it's not a course, our crypto parties. So yeah. maybe in some future days we can start up cooperations with. Uh, uh, public uh, public colleges to do to, to introduce um, a course but I don't know if uh, the interest is that uh, high mm. to attend a, a course over five or six um, or more um, appoints appointments or where they are all yeah. which are built um, from uh, from one Block to another, mm. so it's we well, see. So, it's, uh, so it would be problematic if you miss one. Yes, and that's uh, that's that's also always a threat um, that we try to avoid. You can come to every uh, crypto party, and you will not be left alone, or 
or don't uh, or can't follow it or something like this but yeah uh, you you are definitely right if you say it's a long time uh, we we know it uh, but we we haven't found a solution for it yet <laughs> You, I have to go back to the um, yeah. early part of the interview. Uh, you mentioned there was a politician in Leipzig who got involved in the protests. Yes. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Can we say that? Mm. Don't know. <laughs> If he is happy about it. <laughs> well, you mean he was he was not like openly involved. Yes, yes, he yes, was involved. He was, he was only he uh, um, um, registered the uh, protests and uh, for by the local authorities, and so he was totally into it at that time. But it, I don't know if we could mention his name here publicly in an interview. <laughs> oh, okay, it's all um, mm. I don't, uh, I don't think we should. No. Mm. We have had to ask him. Oh, yeah, before okay. because I don't know if you want to get involved so right now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because he didn't show that uh, we didn't hear from him for a long time so I don't know okay, okay. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm kind of asking because um, you know whenever we talk about the history of hacking yeah. mm -hmm. well, we always think of the American history of hacking like Edward mm -hmm. Snowden, Chelsea Manning yeah. uh, Jason Schwartz and so I try to one of the reasons I'm doing these interviews is so that I can bring up more local figures and uh, mm. that's why I ask like okay who is this guy who's doing this really interesting thing mm. right so okay, I totally understand if I uh, can't be mentioned that now. but um, well something I can uh, mention is that um, often lawyers here in Germany are involved with this kind of protest because from her understanding of um, um, reading um, the, um, uh, the um, interpretations of the um, uh, federal court and of course of the uh, constitutional courts um, then they uh, see the often see the problems at first time than journalists and um, yeah. and uh, but uh, here in our um, group um, you can't um, really um, I guess so you can correct me if you see <laughs> it different you can't really um, shrink it to one person or one profile or one profession because our group is well, so so um, heterogeneous so mm -hmm. we have um, we have historians um, we have um, people who studies uh, um, culture or uh, kulturwissenschaften and um, uh, political uh, or po political studies we had uh, someone um, from the, who was involved in uh, the local uh, anonymous cell we had some guy who was active uh, in the uh, pirate, pirate, pirate party and one uh, or two people are in, active on the green party um, but we try to set the group up in without um, uh, uh, being attached to a political group or politi political party so uh, and try to set it as, as much open as possible but to sort out um, some people with um, uh, um, uh, racistic or racist background and, and so on because uh, our field is uh, in an in interest of some people who are tend to to um, to believe in some uh, specific form of um, conspiracy theories and we uh, try to filter that out yeah. because um, here in Leipzig that is uh, necessary because there are <laughs> there are some groups uh, you don't want to uh, um, to get in touch with when you uh, when you start to to um, build uh, 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 a group which is um, 
rooted into the public or the civil society. Or yeah. So, and if you try to to gather some trust mm. uh, from, yeah. from 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 the public and, and from media, for example, then you have sometimes to be careful with whom uh, with, whom, with whom you will connect. Mm. Yes. But I think that's a normal, normal thing mm. at all. Mm. And, okay. and what's your view on the, um, the ban on hacking tools? Well, uh, I think it's not really a, a ban as such, but you are not allowed uh, to use them if you, um, if you do it on... Um, Networks, for example, uh, that you are not uh, author authorized to do it there. It's. I think it's it's, it's kind of rubbish because uh, if you if you really want uh, to uh, to be a hacker or cracker or a criminal, maybe um, then you don't care about. Mm -hmm. You use the tools yet that are available, and they are available, certainly. Um, there are no, no ban uh, is helping from this. Um, it's only uh, a natural fi uh, figure, I think. Um, and I'm, but I'm not sure if you can uh, can have uh, can get some control or. Really, more control about it. Mm -hmm. So, for me, it's um, very interesting questions because um, because um, I'm very interested in some some kind of hacker ethics or this is at least the, the discussions of for hacker ethics. Because on the one hand, um, the well, we have these guys who provide all the cool stuff, so the so, 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 so crypto tools we are all using, and I I personally consider them as hackers as well, because from my perspective, hacking is um, something to to adapt or build solutions or not better tools or provide better tools or to change them existing tools to make them better to involve them to. To um, provide them to fit, uh, uh, to fit and uh, and uh, giving a solution for for some problems. So I guess yes, this uh, and from this uh, when you go this direction, you come right through the crypto wars and the problems, and we discuss that in all every crypto party and um, all the the. Uh, problems with terror attacks and 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 so on uh, brought the discussion back into Germany as well, but uh, and we um, but on the other hand we are uh, uh, for every crypto party we um, show some what um, yeah simple um, ru so, um, rules what you can do against surveillance and we did. Uh, Every time we provide them, um, show them, we say, "You okay? You are able to sabotage or, uh, in a way, hack surveillance, but it's not legal." <laughs> mostly, <laughs> mostly, mm. and so we didn't um, um, uh, provide. Um, um, we didn't um, encourage people to do so, but. Um, um, it's it's also the the problem what you consider hacking. So um, some some people uh, consider, for example, Aaron Swartz um, copying files from um, JSTOR as hacking. So where where will you start? What yes. what are hacking tools? Would be maybe uh, the right question yes. first to ask um, um, because, but. It always, in my opinion, depends on how do you use it. Mm -hmm. uh, if you try to, uh, to know which uh, traffic is sent through your network uh, to, to, to your provider, for example, which applications uh, send which content, then I think it, certainly it is uh, legal use. 
but uh, on the other hand, if you do it on an, on an, um, on a network you you should not be connected to, uh, then it may be uh, problematic and uh, illegal, and then uh, it may be treated as a crime. Certainly, um, mm -hmm. but I think um, I think. Uh, it's highly problematic uh, to uh, to focus on the tools. I think uh, the focus uh, should be on uh, what what you are doing with yeah. with this. The ethics and mm -hmm. um, and that's uh, so. That's why I said uh, I think uh, to forbid uh, the tools is doesn't uh, bring us any further. No. So it's. Um, um, it's the same as if you try to forbid uh, using ni uh, knives or to forbid knives. So, on the one hand, you um, you could um, could avoid uh, someone uh, running around and stabbing people, but on the other hand, you you can use knives uh, for every day's purpose. So and. It's it's a, an open discussion, and and I guess much um, much much uh, for a technology came up, and uh, we have to have to in, um, empower the open discussion. Uh, for instance, if you on the field of artif artificial intelligence or so on, and to to have a discussion to about hacker hacking ethics and ethics. Um, for the digital age in general, I mm. guess. So, and of course, there are people who say that they are hack, try to hack society or try to hack democracy to improve it from from their opinion. So, in in a way, we try to do so so as well. But um, um, if you're talking about this, you have to have to go to the ethical questions I guess so what is the, 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 the target or the, what are you aiming to do so what is your, your intention and um, try are you trying to harm anyone so and mm, and, and then you should ask how is he or she being harmed is it um, and then you have to decide is the public public figure or is it a person a private person and, and so on it's, it's, a complex it's a complex debate in the end I guess yeah and it, it must be but then uh, you have mm. also to look if you can get a majority behind you and mm. behind your point of view yes um, at least if you are uh, talking about democratic uh, development yeah <laughs> Okay. All right. Um, last question. Yeah. So now um, I've been the one mainly asking the questions and sort of guiding the interview along. But let's say uh, if you could ask the question, right, what would you want to know about um, privacy and surveillance or the smart city in Leipzig or Germany? Cool. Good. Good question to <laughs> ask. That question. Um, <laughs> For me, it would be really interesting to know um, where will that debate uh, lead us to? Will, will there be a, a point that people say privacy don't matter to us mm -hmm. anymore? There is no thing as privacy because um, we are always open, we are always online, we are always uh, seen and be seen and uh, we see all the time. And so uh, there is no need to have privacy. Uh, maybe we, we can all be transparent uh, to the last degree. Um, it's not my opinion, but I would be really interested where, where the discussion about privacy and uh, the connection to the, so the digital development will lead us to. Because I'm extremely unsure if uh, if it is an an value uh, per se, you know, um, and and how that if this value uh, will be uh, will be uh, also seen by uh, by the greater public. 
and how that will be um, developed in the future. That would be my my question. How will uh, privacy develop and, and the view of privacy will develop in the, in the future? Okay, I certainly agree. <laughs> And, and I would ask another question, um, uh, another question. Um, what is the main purpose of surveillance and where should it stop uh, and, and what will it bring us or what we are expecting for us? And aren't we, at least right now, just in love with surveillance? So if you think of all the people with um, these sleep monitors and um, um, Fitbit, stuff like that and um, what are trying we are trying to achieve from surveillance so is it really about control so does companies really want to control our behavior by um, computing or better profiles to um, um, nudge us to a specific behaviors Is it really about control and where should, uh, will this control extend to the maximum or will it um, co um, collapse or so I'm interested in the, the purpose of, of surveillance and uh, in regards to the, uh, to the price that it, as Rainer already mentions, um, changed the The mode of being into the world. So, um, are we public? Public publicity is publicity the new way of being, or the mode of being in the world? So that we are um, transparent all the time. So. Okay. Thank you so much. Those are really good questions too. I'll just turn this off right now.